Well, it seems strange to say that the, the week of preparation again, you've got 24 hours more than you, you have done in recent weeks. How do you benefit from that in terms of your preparation? Yeah, I think physically and, and um, emotionally more than anything just gives you that extra bit of a breather, um, which I think for everybody, staff and players, is welcome. Um, and that's probably what it is. That'll be the last occasion it happens to us before the end of the season. So. It just gives you time to reflect on the games you've played, um, a little bit more time to prepare and plan, and it gives the, the, the players a little bit more rest. Um, so we get to we get an extra training day, which can be valuable, and we have to use every hour or every uh, time we step onto the grass, we have to use that to our benefit, and that's what we'll try and do this week. In terms of the usual injury bulletin, what's the latest? No, it's, it's quite quiet this week, which is, Quite strange occurrence for the last few weeks anyway. Um, got nothing to report from the last game. Um, so, you know, the, the squad with Marvin and Hubby being back, um, which was a bonus. You know, they, they've trained since, everything's okay with them. Um, and the other boys, um, not not anything to report where they'll be available for us for, for Saturday, that's the same. You're showing some better news with, with Cashy at the moment? Yeah, Keshi's been back out on the grass and he's been running and um, he's felt no ill effects of what he's done so far and um, we'll be looking to push him up, push him on in the next few weeks. Um, but he's been out for you know a significant period of time. He's desperate to come back before the end of the season and wants to play a part. Um, and we'll be we'll be delighted to have him back, but we we don't want to take on any uh, any unnecessary risks with him as well. Um, so if he appears before the end of the season, that would be. Um, that would be a real bonus. We've spoken previously about the amount of centre-half partnerships that you've gone through this season, given injuries and suspensions, but it's been a similar affair in the middle of the park as well, hasn't it? Um, especially, yeah. obviously, in, in, in recent weeks with the ones that you've lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had to be adaptable all season, really. Um, you know, it was something that we spoke about at the beginning of the season, um, about this season will be like no other. We have to be prepared. Uh, you can only control what you control and then you have to find solutions to everything else and we found solutions we've been adaptable been flexible in our thinking and and so have the players and um, you know we don't make issues of the injuries that we've had we just try and prepare the team during the week as best as we can and keep believing our preparation and our process and so far um, that, that's been that's been successful for us Grant Wall probably came into the club more of a sort of a wide player attacking midfielder and you've, you've utilised him in centre midfield. Is it just his technical ability on the ball that, that made him suit there? Yeah, Ward has been, um, I think he's been outstanding for us this season. Um, he's getting a little bit more attention recently and rightly so because some of his performances have been outstanding for us. Um, I say when he's, you know, he's, he's used to playing wide right or as a 10. Um, he's played, he has played that position for us this season but he's played more um, in midfield areas, um, he's got tremendous athleticism. Um, his humility to how he plays the game, he plays it with sheer honesty. He covers every blade of grass for you, and he's a proper team player. Um, and I think recently, um, he's typified what the team is about more than anyone. You mentioned a little bit earlier about adaptability. When you look at sides and successful sides, you always go through a spine, don't you? That you you have in place for a full season, but barring Chris Maxwell in goal and probably Jerry up top for most of the season, it just shows how much of a squad game this has been. Yeah, it has, yeah. And, you know, like you said, is it nine or ten maybe different partnerships we've had in the central defence? Well, that would be, I think, that would be pretty much unheard of in any other team in this division. Um, so, whoever stepped in, um, for them to play how they've played is testament to the group that we've got and how they've taken our work on the training pitch and brought it to life in the games, the messages that they've been given and how they've implemented them has been outstanding and um, I've been fortunate with the group that we've got here um, that you can see their, their hunger for in learning and improving um, and we try to be consistent with the way we work and I think if you look at the, the the performances on the pitch, there's been real evidence of the work that we do off the pitch.